Whew. There's our bridge. We're a little closer. I think. Let's keep at it. Come on. I hear there, all you handsome bastards and classy ladies. It's it's Savage Starlight. That's a nice little lamb. That's a nice little kind of. I don't think it counts as an Easter egg, but that's a nice detail. Uh, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, Savage Starlight is the comic book that Ellie is reading. Anyways, I just want to welcome you all on back to uh, to The Last of Us. Before I even begin this uh, this video proper, I just need to let you know that it is so good to be back. It's got an X on it. Use a shiv. Um, yes, my PS3 did break, and it was damned unfortunate. But um, mother's letter. Let's take, let's take a read of this. Let, 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 let's get a bit of. It's nice handwriting and everything, but let's see now. My son, my little boy, I buried him today. What did he do? Join a protest, and now they're labeling him a traitor. Well, that seems like just cause to me. Fine, I'll show them what a traitor does. I've joined them, the rebels, the rioters. They gave me a gun, some bullets, and a mission. I won't survive this, but neither will they. Nice. How many other fathers and mothers like me are there? With that kind of thinking, no one wins. And Joel would know, the poor bastard. Uh, so yes, I am back proper. Uh, so to fill you in on what happened, my PS3, it did unfortunately die. Um, it, 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 it was dead, unfortunately. I got onto Sony. Um, part of me was hoping that the issue was just with the fan and that the, the console itself was actually, you know, in good shape and everything. Uh, I'm just going to upgrade my health real quick. But uh, unfortunately, they informed me that pretty much no matter what they do, they wouldn't be able to restore the... Um, the data so I lost everything so what I did was I went ahead and I bought another PS3 because I was informed that the PlayStation 4 will in all likelihood not be backwards compatible uh, now I still fully intend on getting the PS4 um, using the money that I earn from doing these videos so I plan on getting the PS4 as well but I had to buy a PlayStation 3 so that I could get back to you know to the last of us and whatnot that girl is so skinny. Hang on, what's she talking about? By the way, I've got some bits to talk to you about in a moment. I just, I have a feeling this is a conversation point here for Ellie. Yeah, I was right. God, I called it. I thought you had plenty of food in your time. Oh, well, we did. Some just chose not to eat it. Why the hell not? For looks. That's stupid. I agree. Ellie just gave a nice positive, uh, bit of posi positive reinforcement for women everywhere just there. You know, <clears throat> and maybe I'm just a different kind of guy, but I, I'm not the kind of guy who judges women on looks. I mean, don't get me wrong, a, a, a pretty woman is, you know, pretty to look at and everything, but I certainly wouldn't judge someone based on their looks. For me, it's all personality. That's how I judge whether I like someone or not. And it's certainly how I decide whether I'm attracted to them. Now, it is quite nice that Jess also happens to be beautiful, but, you know, I'm just getting all soft on the inside. I can't make that jump. If you get me up there, I can move that I believe that can be arranged. Oh god, I hope there's not like an infected crocodile or something in here. Although you know what song's been stuck in my head lately? I I'm not sure if many of you would, would be familiar with this song. Um, it's... Uh, there's a plank that we need to get Ellie anyway. It's uh... Oh, it's from Peter Pan, that Disney movie. It's uh... Never smile at a crocodile, you know? Never... The f fuck is that? What the hell? Oh, this place is bad. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Right, I'm just gonna grab Ellie. There's some more exploration I want to do in a minute. There's a truck back there that I want to check out. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, that song with the crocodile. Do you know it's never smile at a crocodile. No, you can't be friendly with a crocodile. As I don't let him lure right you in with his welcome grin. It's a catchy Absolutely. song. What was that all about? Get on. We're coming to the hotel. Um. Okay. On board. Oh, easy. Don't worry, I ain't gonna drop you. I wonder if Ellie's actually gonna learn how to swim. Uh, by the end of the game. Not sure. I'm kind of looking forward, like, their, their relationship is developing. and I'm, Set up that plank like they did. And I'm looking forward to the point where they get closer, you know, where they're properly bonded, where they're, where they're pretty much tighter than a, than a Chinese finger trap. I don't know if you've ever ever used a Chinese finger trap, but um, those things are tight. They're awful. They really are. Um, it's the kind of thing that, like, y y y you put it on. No dice. It's like you put on a Chinese finger trap, and 
and you just you regret it you know it's one of those things that like you put it on and you just have instant regret <laughs> your life is filled with regret there's just there's no way to get out of it you know that's that's the oh, issue this place stinks yeah words all run did you go to coffee shop a lot i did all the time and what would you get just just coffee that was a bit of a strange hesitation moment there. He's like, just, I don't want to talk about it. How much, how much, what, what kind of perverted antics did Joel get up to in the coffee shops? That's what, what I want to know. Probably has some sort of weird coffee bean fetish or something. Oh, I suppose we all got some sort of weird fetish. Except for me, but I'm not creepy. Uh, I, I'm sure you're watching this thinking, nah, Christian, you're a super creep. <laughs> I swear to you, I'm not. Um, oh yeah, but sorry, um... There's two things I want to talk to you about just while I'm wandering around here. The first one is that I am... Um, so I got my I got a new PlayStation 3 and everything. I lost all of my data. So yesterday I actually had to replay this entire game up to the point, up to this point. Um, and I did it. Oh, hang on, stash note. Alright, married with a red X. I, I got that one a while ago. Uh, so I had to replay through the entire game right from the beginning and, uh, and, and get up here. Yesterday, which was Saturday, Fortunately, the entire days it was spent raining and Jess bless her. She is the single most Supportive and understanding fiance I could ever ask for she told me to just go upstairs Get on the PlayStation and catch up with the last of us so that I could start recording videos as soon as possible um, And I did it fortunately yesterday. It did nothing but rain. It was just lashing the entire day um, So it was perfect for just sitting down and catching up so I'm up to scratch, but I'm telling you people, it was a test of stamina. So for that reason alone, I'd appreciate it if you could just give this video a like. Uh, just as a way of welcoming back the series. I would really appreciate that. The other thing is, um, it was something that, I think it was Dead Dancers? I maybe, or maybe Dotimus Maximus, I'm not sure. Someone mentioned, you anyway. Are gone? About to find out. Someone mentioned in a previous video that back, I think it was my last video, uh... Was it the last video? No, it was maybe two videos ago. There's clear, Ellie. Come on down. Whoa. You ever stayed a place like this? Before? It all went to shit, I mean. No. No, this is too rich for my blood. Oh. I bet it was nice. Yeah, I bet it was fancy. Pompous, too. Um, but there's a bit uh, about two videos ago where um, these guys come out and they shoot, one of them shoots at a bird. Um, I said hidden so that they just walked by. No, oh, it's too high. Let's see what we can find. Yeah, we need a ladder. Um, but someone had left a comment saying that there's a part if you hang around a little bit longer. Unfortunately, I didn't. But there's a part where Ellie whips out a joke book. I gotta tell you, it is one of the, the nicest moments that I've seen between Joel and Ellie. Um, so if you're playing it, when you get to that point where the, the guy shoot at the birds, stick around, listen to her jokes. They're awful, but in the best possible way. And then afterwards, at the in my last video, I... Um, what you gonna do? What you doing? You've been all kinds of crazy. Oh, I'll be checking in for one night, and I would like your finest suite, please. The hell are you doing? <gasps> Why, yes, you can take my luggage upstairs. You are a weird kid. <laughs> They're definitely getting closer. Pretty soon they will be the proverbial Chinese finger trap. Um, but yeah, and then there's another bit in my last video, I believe it was, the one where I got a guy in the head with the bow and arrow. Um, uh, she whips out her joke book again, and it, it's even nicer than the first joke moment. It's, it really is good. Uh, the other thing, when you're getting the car with Bill, uh, and Ellie is in the car, you can actually talk to Ellie before you push the car out of the garage. And um, Joel is just very encouraging. It's a nice moment. Oh, I really miss coffee. <laughs> Joel is definitely a coffee fan. Actually, they brought in these new coffee machines uh, to, um, to work. They brought them in a couple of weeks ago. And uh, so many people have now become addicted to coffee. I'm so far, I've managed to avoid the addiction, but I can see how it would happen. I can see how it could happen quite easily, you know? Um, I took a bit of a mocha, just a slight little sip of a mocha, and I'm telling you, I was craving it afterwards. And it was just the smallest little sip. So coffee, that stuff is seriously addictive. I'm on it. Alright. Um, pretty sure I had something else to say. Uh, yeah, pretty much I got a new PS3, I caught up, just wanted to fill you in on those nice moments. I also want to say, sit Watch back, step. relax, throw your feet up and enjoy. I kind of feel I might have missed something down there. 
Let me just take one last look. I just want to make sure I'm missing nothing, you know? Because a lot of people... Yeah, I think we can go along here. A lot of people doing the uh, doing these kind of walkthroughs, they, um, they tend to just rush through the games, you know, and they don't really explore their surroundings. And that's something that I like to do. I like that to be one of the... One of the hallmarks of a true Iron Gamer walkthrough, you know? Am I going the right way? I'm just going the wrong way entirely. Ah, oh, wrong way entirely. Because um, I like to explore my environment. And um, and, I, I, and I've got nothing but positive feedback in that respect as well. There's a whole bunch of people who like it when I do, that, when I do it, when I explore around and stuff. So, yeah, just wanted to take a look there. Um, I was hoping we'd have found something, but guess not. Um, but yeah. I hope you're all doing well. It's good to be back. It's good to have my PS3 back. Um, I kind of filled in the void a little bit with my uploads by uploading some of my older uh, Resident Evil Revelations videos that I had recorded before I got The Last of Us and just never got round to um, to editing. The other thing, and I'm pleased to say, uh, myself and Jess are looking at reviewing my, my upload schedule. I know that sounds very fancy for a guy who just uploads random videos to YouTube. Oh shit. Get down, get down. Where? Let's have a listen. How many is that now? Mm, five just this week. Hey, I'm not complaining. I bet you not. We done here? We got on the floor to check, man. Check for what? I ain't seen a clicker in weeks. That's because we're thorough. We're gonna keep being thorough. Let's wrap this up, right? All right, whatever. 